Hi, Ella. It's Rob. Welcome to Slow Coach. Um, this is really cool. I love working on this platform, and you'll have this video to go back and reference. It's really cool. I know you have your big audition tomorrow, so I wanted to get it to you uh, as soon as I can. I'm sorry it took a couple of days. I've been running around and teaching a lot. So hopefully you'll have tonight to review this video. Don't let anything I say this tonight throw you in a big way for tomorrow. You've worked very hard on this monologue, and... Um, you're ready. So this is just a final thing to sort of like nitpick some little adjustments and give you some things to think about going into tomorrow. But don't, if anything I say kind of throws a curveball and you go, oh, wait, I'm rethinking. Don't, don't let anything throw you. Uh, I, I want you to be confident tomorrow. You deserve to be confident tomorrow. You've been working very hard. You're great. The first thing I'm going to say is watch your focus. Yes, this gives me a little pencil so that I can do things like this. Watch where your eyeballs go because right in the beginning here, when you walk into this scene, I want you to take a look at your eye, your focus, where you're looking right there. So where you're looking here, it makes me think that whatever, whoever you're about to start, start speaking to is over here, uh, which is obviously not the case, right? So what I thought was going to happen is you were going to sort of be looking around and then you were going to see your mom and then start. But that's not what happens. Take a look. You're looking off into the distance and then you begin speaking the very instant you make eye contact with mom. Watch. Mom. See, you, you do the focal shift right on mom, which throws me a little bit because it makes me wonder um, – did you know she was there? What are you looking at prior to looking at her? If what you're playing is like, I'm looking around, I'm coming down the stairs and I see her there. Let the sight of her establish before you start to speak to her. Does that make sense? A good daughter is supposed to do for their mother, but you are so rude to me. I can't. Don't let to me disappear. Watch it. Watch how much you threw away to me. Rude to me, not I can't. To me, and I, right? Make sure to me, and not to me. Don't let that disappear. That's a big point you're making. You are so rude to me, and I. Even if you're getting worked up, that's great. Get worked up. I love it. I love the emotional range. We're starting in a simple place. You're believing, believing that this is going to go well, and then it starts to go badly. That's great. Just make sure that um, you don't throw away those words. You are so. Rude to me, I, I can't take it anymore. Be Good. nice to me. I I'm worth enough to be treated nicely. So treat me nice. Good. That that one felt like I am worth enough to be treated nicely. Felt like the end of your point, and then you said. So treat me nice. Don't let so treat me nice be the button on the scene because do you want some coffee is the button of the scene. So make sure that so treat me nice is the end of your point, not I'm worth enough to be treated nicely. Make sure that does, that doesn't feel like the end. And then so treat me nice is just a little addition to it. Make sure that the point is I am worth enough to be treated nice. So treat me nice is the end. I think you're in great, great shape. Um, again, everything I just said is, uh, is not a big deal. Um, you are, you are the number one thing I'm looking for, which is honest. I believe you. Anything that I'm saying now, let it digest tonight, put it under your pillow. <laughs> and, uh, when you wake up tomorrow, review it a couple times, go to that audition, and then don't let me come in that room with you. You just do it. God, who's next? Uh, Mr. McClaw, next up to sing is Ella. Ella! Hi! Um, Ella and I have been working together, and Ella got into the school she wanted to get into, and I'm really proud of her. Thank you, I'm so excited.